Portland's footage shows a 71-year-old Asian grandmother violently shoved to the ground, her purse stolen. Just one of several attacks in California's Bay Area recently. A 91-year-old man pushed in Oakland's 84-year-old Thai American. First is the COVID-19 pandemic, but the second pandemic that we have faced is also a virus. It's a virus of racism that we have faced. This is due to Donald Trump's rhetoric on coronavirus. Come flu. Along with the ease of recording and sharing these attacks has contributed to making the issue more visible. So we have a very long history in this country going all the way back to the Chinese Exclusion Act of 1882. It was the first legislation to bar immigration of an ethnic group. Yet, Asian Americans have played an indispensable role in building the country. The Chinese Americans uh, were responsible for the transcontinental railroad from the West Coast to Utah. But now, we see that Asian Americans of all backgrounds are essential workers. They are the ones that are on the front lines of the COVID-19 response. Asked for a meeting with the Department of Justice. We want to talk to look for ways to better prosecute such crimes. In addition, we are pushing the No Hate Act. The No Hate Act improves the hate crime reporting in the country. Regionalized communities date back decades. Conflicts peaked in 1992 when around 2,000 Korean owned businesses were burned and looted in the aftermath of the police beating of Rodney King. Tensions between the groups had been festering after a Korean shop owner fatally shot a 15-year-old black girl in the same- John Yen, I'm a supervisory special agent with the FBI. Somebody I realize that many crimes in our Asian communities aren't always reported for many reasons. I'm Dr. Henry Lee. I want everyone in the Asian community to know that you do not have to live in fear of reporting crime committed against you. Verbal, physical, my name is Trooper First Class Luke LaRue, and I'm a Filipino American. And as a Connecticut State Trooper, I want to relay to all members of our Asian communities that you report a suspected hate crime immediately. The sooner we are aware of such crimes, the quicker we can pursue the criminals and bring them to justice. I'm David Sundberg and I'm the special agent in charge of the Federal Bureau of Investigation in the state of Connecticut. If you or a loved one have been a victim or a witness to a hate crime, we want to know. Victim of a hate crime, we want to know. Call your local police or call 1-800-CALL-FBI or visit tips.fbi.gov.